Welcome to another Pike and Shop battle. A Turkish against Imperialist battle here. We have a not open stream in the center. It's not disordering though. A hill with our mandatory two batteries of artillery. A forest with some Janissaries and Azab medium foot archers. And we've got, let's see, the Tufekci light infantry. I have no idea if I'm saying that remotely correctly. Uh, supported by horse archers and Balkan light horse lancers. We have the Sipahis with bows or guns to move to the flanks. They'll try to hide in the rough ground against the imperialist heavier cavalry. The Sipahis of the Porte we have in reserve. They'll pick whichever side looks more vulnerable and go and support it. Right, let's see that force cup and deployment. Dragoons. Hussars, yeah, they're gonna try to harass my guns for sure. Crossiers and arquebusiers, we'll need to make sure our janissaries are in the rough. Later, tercios. Into the center. Okay, we can work with that. Let's get Balkan Light Horse Lancers towards the crossing, along with our horse archers, backed by Lightfoot with muskets. And we'll have, let's see, archers not yet at the edge of the forest, but ready. And same with our Janissaries ready to pop out, but not there yet. Send your greetings. Send your greetings. A lucky hit. Very good. Then let's get you in the rough ground. Then what? Get ready to seize that rough and maybe check out the woods. Again, Balkan Light Horse and Light Horse Archers to the wings. The Temeriots can occupy these patches of rough ground. We can keep one in reserve here. And Sipahis highly superior towards the center. And you can also spread out since we know we have numbers here. Combination of musketry and archery should be able to disrupt at least some of them before contact. All right. Next turn. Hot shots and more arquebusiers. Uh, the skirmishers could be a problem. We might have to draw back a bit into range of our Janissary muskets. They're just gonna sit there. We can pepper them with archery. Well, great. Let's, uh, for starters, get the light lancers across and get some archery on the hussars. Fort Disruption, good. And push you into that rough ground forward a bit. Let's hold the archers back. If he moves down to counter, then we bring out the bows. I think that would be best. Same with the Janissary, stay concealed for just a little bit longer. 
and uh, send our greetings in the meantime. Again, that should encourage forward movement. Good. Go for a frag here, actually. Nope, they hold firm. It's okay. White Lancers will want to cross over and prepare to support with archery. Good. Then we wait and see what reaction we get. Next turn, rally, too bad. That's good, they're still in the open. There is some danger the Janissaries will disrupt. Yeah, okay, we'll have to rotate them out. Better. That's much better. Okay, we can work with that. First, try to charge the dragoons to fade, and we don't quite catch them too bad. Next, we'll need to. Shuffle a bit. Fall back. Fire. That's fine. Do we threaten some fire of the Ark of the Seers? I think if we stay out of the charge arc, it could be worth it. They hold firm. Okay, into the rough. Uh huh. They hold firm. Now we say hello. Okay, good. Then we can get our archers out into the ambush. Go for a frag. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Now break. And with that, we've got Light Horse behind them. The Crossiers are the greatest danger because they are so tough, just like that. Now, if he charges our lights, they'll evade and he could end up in an awkward spot. Take that rough and hang out in it for now. Could move up and start shooting, but 
I'd rather he gets a little bit closer first. Next turn. Fade and we can flank. Good. They'll evade if we charge, so no point in doing so. And while we could flank, we would then get counter charged. Not sure if that's worth it. I'll have to consider. Well, sitting here might not be good either. Ooh, nice catch. You break and they follow it up. Huh. Most unfortunate. Well, let's lay down some archery. Can't reach them because of the stream. So we can just threaten them. They hold firm. Hmm. Stay out of charge arc, damn. No dice, okay. Why not, not close enough. Again, the stream, get close enough. Thank you very much. And what? Could get that drop, let's do it. Ah. Now we'll get flanked, unless we cover. Do I really want to, though? Hmm, extra cohesion? No? Good, next turn we can charge. Assuming we hold firm. Aid. Damn. Fair enough. Could shove this unit off map. Let's just apply some pressure. Oh, get him out of there. Shift around. Let's cover, oh, I was going to say cover the flank, but that stops any hope of doing that. Too bad. Okay. See if you can't just slow them down here. Perfect. Do I move to support the cavalry battle? I have lost some units there. Yeah. The Ozops are cheap anyway, so it's not a great loss to move them over. Now, if he charges, then we can probably pursue him as they press forward. That's the idea. Next turn. 
We are suffering on the left, but we do have a mild lead. Good, although we're going to get flanked in turn. Saves the guns. Hmm. Maybe we won't instantly break, maybe. That could be good. Whole no. Well done. We suffer a break. You, most unfortunate. Double drop, yeah. Well, at least they're out of the way. Let's move there to bow shot and support that. Hit the crosshairs in the flank and the arquebusiers. Good. We'll turn you around. You can take some casualties. Uh, right, go for a frag, but really, a frag, then charge, any disrupts, no, uh, hope they keep pursuing, go for, again, a frag, hmm. They hold firm. Unfortunate. That's a problem. We might need to move up uh, so that they don't get their impact bonus for charging medium foot in the open. First, though, we can fire. Then we can consider what to do. can't turn to shoot because then they'll be able to hit us in the flank one way or another. So we do need to move up next to them and score a disruption. That's good. In that case, assist. And prepare to what? Apply pressure, but where? Maybe here, threaten both of these units. Okay. Next turn. Oh no, no, that's so awful. Should bounce that. Good. It's 
As long as we don't insta break, we should be fine to inflict them. Interesting. That's okay. We can deal. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's see here. Is that? No, they're facing the wrong way, sadly. Let's start by catching that flank. Good, that unlocks our swordsman POA. Next up. Let's try this. We might score a frag. No, we don't, but at least it keeps them busy. Sound them in, score disruption. What about a frag? No. Is that really worth it though? I don't think it really is worth it until we frag them. Into the woods. We'll need the disorder if they attack. Go for it. It's fine. Get that flank. Good. Turn around. Right. Tempting. Might end up somewhere very, very bad, but if we stand and shoot, we're gonna eat a lot of lead. I could try falling back, I don't love that either, so let's trust to our superior quality. Stand our ground. Close match. Next turn. Oh, what a shame that is. Not surprising. They fall back. If we don't immediately break, we might be able to cut up this unit with our Janissaries. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I can work with that. It's still a close match. Oh, we routed though. Damn it.
Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Why don't we, for starters, any cohesion checks? No? Guess not. Try to catch them out. Well, that's one. Yeah, 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 you're annoying. Okay, hopefully we can set up a flank of those crossiers then. Now, unfortunately... Hmm. How are we going to do this? If we fire, that's a frag. Then you can absorb a volley. It's fine, because now what we can do is come out to play. No frag, that's okay. Break them. Okay. And break them. And we stop pursuit, that's good. We can keep firing. They can take a lot of casualties, so. Ah, uh, not much we can do with this unit yet. Right, finish them. And push on back towards the main action. Maybe I should have harassed them. That's okay. Very good. Okay, Don is giving me the well played, so it's over. 50 to 20. Ouch, yeah, we knew that bounce was coming. There it is. Well, terrain was certainly helpful. These hills, the forest for concealment. These later tercios are immune to flank but not rear attacks. Their ratio of musketeers to pikemen is 60% pikemen, 40% musketeers. Although they're about a thousand strong, uh, really only about half, or maybe a little bit under half, I think about 400 men are kind of in fighting position in the front. So their firepower is, you know, less than half that of a unit of Janissaries, which is 500 men. The Janissaries are swordsmen, so if the later tercios are moderately or worse, disordered or disrupted or fragged, our swordsmen POA unlocks and we're up 100 POA. These are not pike kyles. So they don't get a separate melee POA. They only cancel other POAs when steady. So it got a little bit dodgy in the middle because I had stretched myself kind of thin. And the crosshairs are really tough to handle. But we were able to win the flanks thanks to hiding our cavalry in the rough where our swordsman POA would have advantage over melee pistols. And on, on the left over here, uh, the Azaf archers support was really crucial. Really nice unit. Uh, medium foot archers below average. That's it. 24 points. Very squishy. Uh, not really good at shooting infantry. They'll get run down by anything in the open. But that volume of archery can be really useful, especially given the insanely low cost of 48 points for two of them. Fantastic. So, good game to Don. And till next time.